This is going to be a very eventful video blog. Um, I'm wearing my hair down for Clue because she wanted me to have my fluffy hair. There you go. Um, anyways. And my eyeliner is really, really dark because I'm Ashley and I last night when we were watching Tron we were talking about how pretty her, uh, Quora's eyeliner was, so I decided to try it for this video vlog. Um, anyways, I like it. it. Looks pretty good from far away. Um, where do I start? Today actually wasn't a bad day. Um, just shit that's going down at school is bad. What is wrong with my hair? Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Okay, so, let's start off with a few days ago. I think it was Monday. A rumor, yeah, it was Monday. A rumor was started that freshmen, two freshmen, had sex in the art gallery. We busted this myth. It is not true. However, word got around and the teachers were pissed. Before that happened, a freshman... Um, a freshman for all you guys who are out of the United States is a person in about grade 9, so they're about 14, 15 years old, um, was caught in the bathroom, passed out, with coke in a razor blade. Coke being cocaine. A freshman had cocaine in the bathroom, was passed out. Now... The third thing is, freshmen have been caught smoking, I don't know whether it's pot or cigarettes, in the bathrooms. Well, thank you guys very much for that. I am so mad at the freshmen right now, and I'm sure I am positive that it's other grades too, but the freshmen are the only ones who are stupid enough to get fucking caught. Because of their stupidity, and the fact that they're all fucking sluts, and hoe bags and disgusting, diseased, druggies. Um, we are being punished as a school. Now, I'm a senior. I am 18 years old. Um, that means I'm in grade 12. I have two months left of school until I graduate and go to university. Thank you guys for fucking up the last two months of my school year. We're really fucking pissed. Now, our school has turned into fucking Hitler camp. Concentration camps, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's like Clue took over our school. And we're our school is the grid now. And we're friggin' getting controlled so much that it's like communism. I don't, I don't, I'm so mad. Alright. So, guys. First consequence of their actions is this. We are not allowed to use the bathroom during class. Yes, if you have to piss, you better do it before class or in between classes, which we have five minutes to do, plus go to our lockers and get the books for the next class period we have. Um, what? What if I don't have to pee in between there? You want me to go make myself pee like we're going on a fucking road trip? How about I just piss in your classroom? Then you'll let me go, won't you? Secondly, we're not allowed to go to the nurse either, because the nurse is apparently sick and tired of us being sick and tired. So therefore, we cannot go unless we are direly dire, dire sick or ill, as in vomiting or we know we have a fever. We are not allowed to go to get Advil anymore, or Tylenol, Ibuprofen, whatever, my adult for us girls with cramps, um, any of that stuff, because they're not going to write us a pass for it. So, um... What happens if we have a womanly emergency? Well, guess what? I don't fucking know. Maybe have blood in your pants. I don't know. Um, they're just going to have to deal with us complaining, I guess. Because sometimes you have your period in school and you didn't bring a pad because you didn't know you were about to start. Uh, a woman's body is an unpredictable thing, guys. Don't know what we're going to do about that. Thanks, school system. Um, other places we are not allowed to go during class are the library or other classes 
and so on. Um, thanks, freshman. You did a really great job fucking everything up. You're only freshmen. Seriously, guys? You have three more years of high school and you're already fucking shit up? Do you know what your life is going to be like after this? You need to get it together and quit being so immature. The fact that people are doing this so young is already disturbing enough. And the fact that they're bringing it to school and ruining the rest of our lives is just so infuriating. I, I, I am fuming mad. I've been fuming mad all day. Um, it's just ridiculous. And the people who got the person into drugs, who got caught, are this, they did it to laugh at her, apparently, is what I heard. Um, and they gave her Altoids instead of uh, cocaine and told her to snort it. And so apparently it messed up something in her stomach, and that's why she passed out. That's all, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um... So, and those same people are the same people who took my best friend away and got her into stuff. I'm not naming names, but just knowing that could have been her, it still hurts. I, I haven't let go of it fully, so, um, yeah. I don't want to talk about that anymore. So I'll move on to the next thing. The next thing is, if you get four tardies, then you can't participate in any school activities at all. Apparently that's what I heard. So you won't be able to go to plays. I've heard different things from a lot of teachers. You won't be able to be in plays or go to them. No dance shows, no organizations, no fun, like, um, no senior activities, anything. That's what I heard from one teacher. I've been, <coughs> I've been hearing different shit from other people and different teachers. They're just being ridiculous. So you can't be late or else you'll get in school suspension for unless you get if you get four tardies you get in school suspension and you can't go to the rest of the things for the rest of the year our school has the most tardies than any other school in the district and we don't have as many people as half those schools i mean this is something that i'm okay with because people just need to get it together and get to school on time because life isn't going to wait for you and you just have to go um I don't have a problem with getting to school on time. Those who do need to get it together. I can understand like a few times being late because uh, you woke up late or something, but it shouldn't be like a daily thing where people don't know how many tardies you have. Like someone had to put a question mark on their tardy slip because they were late almost every day. Um, you guys probably don't care, but that's about it. The freshmen are just screwing shit up, doing cocaine, partying, being stupid as fuck, and we aren't allowed to go to the bathroom anymore. Oh, and we're going to have searches three to two to three times a week, which means they go through our stuff two to three times a week. Make sure we don't have anything. I'm really disappointed in this that generation. I'm not even going to call it this generation. Be well, yes, I will. I'm really disappointed in this generation. Okay, anyways. On a brighter note, we played... We didn't do anything in my last period, so we played Never Have I Ever. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's where you hold up your hands like this and you go around the room saying never have I ever had sex and if you've had sex then you put your finger down and you can say anything you want basically well until the teacher told us we had to play it we couldn't say things about people's sexual life so we got our own table for the R-rated never have I ever's <laughs> and let me tell you I am one fucking innocent person like some of the people got out within 10 questions, which is as many questions as you can have, and it was pretty funny. I mean, I still had 10 fingers by the end of the round. I'm so fucking innocent. It's ridiculous. I mean, my brain's not innocent, but I am as a person. I've never been kissed. I'm a virgin. Well, I guess I would still be never been kissed since never been. Um, I don't do hardcore drugs. I don't even smoke weed a lot. I mean, I haven't smoked in a very long time. Like a uh, year. About three-fourths of a year. Um, I just don't, I don't do anything. Just don't do anything. And everybody else 
had done stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, this is cool. So this is me and my innocent self being ranting about stupid people and my stupid Nazi school and why I'm so mad. I just wasted 10 minutes of your life probably if you listen to this whole rage thing. Sorry. Um, but most of you who asked me if I'm okay probably will watch the whole thing because you love me. And I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate you guys being there for me. It really means a lot. More than you know. Um. Thanks. I guess that's it.